In this segment, I'm going to show you how to make a hand-tied bouquet using the spiral technique, making this beautiful gardeny bouquet with the spiraling. Look how beautiful that looks. Makes it so much easier to put right into a vase when you receive it. Put that to the side and we'll get started. I have everything prepared and ready to go. We need a little cluster of greens in our hand to start. That's all it takes, just like that. Now I'm going to pick up the pre-cleaned flowers and start going. So I've got the beautiful Duchess white peonies. Take off those to start with. The Bella Vista pink Gerbras. So now I'm laying, always spiraling into this part of my hand, nice and loose. Don't make it tight. Beautiful scented stock. Oh, lovely. That scent with the peonies, what a combination, looks so nice. Add a beautiful pink Alstroemeria. Always go in the same direction and spin when you need to. Another peony. Gerbera. See, I'm looking like I need a Gerbera there, so I'll put that there. Spin and look. An Alstroemeria. Peony. You can just build and build. You eventually get really fast at it. The beautiful Viburnum. That you can grow in your garden. Same with peonies. I love the snowball viburnum too. It's gorgeous. The big white balls of viburnum. Oh, it's so beautiful. It makes a beautiful bush. Add peonies, always laying over in the same way, holding it loosely in your hand. If I were to hold it lower, it's going to make a, a longer look, but I'm looking for a tighter one, so I'm holding it higher. Stalks. Spinning. Put some stalks. I think I need some pink there, so I add pink, spin, peony. It's fun though, you just work with me, just follow it through and you'll get to learn spirals really easily. Just go slow, it'll all come into play, everything will start flowing easy. It takes a lot of practice, but in the end it's worthwhile. A little bit of green here and there, that one's too big. A couple more stalks. I'll stroll. See, I'm always laying so nothing's breaking as I'm going. And I'll put that there. Trying to achieve that upside down saucer feeling. Put the flowers all the same height. Finish off with a couple of greens. Look how pretty that looks. That gorgeous. Tie it off with ribbon or whatever you like. Just hold the end, give it a spin, just like that, a couple of times. Lie it down, tie it off. Cut it. Choose, select your vase so you know what height to cut it. Keep your fingers out of the way and cut. Nice sharp cutters and have your nice vase of warm water ready, lukewarm water, and there you go. Enjoy.